This whole New Year's thing might be canceled. Like New Year's is pretty much gonna be canceled because Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel. My name is Yosha, and I'm your go-to girl for all things real. So today, my family is trying to go get COVID tests. We've been running into testing facilities being packed down the block. A lot of the places are requiring appointments because after Christmas, um, cases are up, the numbers are up, so a lot of folks are trying to get tested. We're about to go to Atlanta to see if the place near my dad's house is available because the one that we've been going to regularly has cars wrapped around down the block and there is no way that I can sit in there out in line for four or five hours because we still got to work. <laughs> so I do have my work stuff with me. My husband has a hot spot. So I'm on Wi-Fi, but we need somewhere where we can go in and out. My husband did go ahead and proactively make us an appointment, but the appointment is on New Year's Eve and we need to be able to get the appointment sooner because if we do have COVID after gathering, we don't need to be around more people giving them COVID. So yeah, stay tuned. New Year's Eve might be canceled. Like me and my friends was in the group chat. My friend, one of them is sick. She doesn't know if she has it, but she works in a hospital environment and the cases are bad things are bad so like all this amazon dress stuff that i've been going through like i might have to end up saving the dress um for another time because it just might not be smart to go out to the club right now with the way cases are rising with this new omicron variant so stay tuned uh hopefully th this facility in atlanta will be able to get us in and out in a reasonable time and my dress should be arriving today for those of y'all that were watching um my step my said my stepmom my mother-in-law has amazon prime so she was able to put an order in for me um for the dress and ship it to our house it should be arriving today so i will try it on for you guys and let y'all know how it looks i went down two sizes so thank you to all of y'all who in the comments were telling me what y'all thought i should do sorry the desk is getting real close to this truck right here you know which is like ooh. but um yeah y'all so i will be letting you guys know like how the dress fits and if the dress still don't look right after going down two sizes i'm just gonna chop it up to the game and pick something different to wear i uh, honestly had this dress in mind because of the shoes i have from tori and i'll pop a picture here on the screen for you guys i just w wanted to go with like a nice blush pink a pop of pink some silver some cover color you know sparkle it's the new year i got sparkle on my nails because i was gonna you know go out for the new year but we might still do something small at my dad's you know just to get together but not like being around a bunch of strangers in a club with a bunch of like recycled air you know what i mean so we decided to stop at wendy's to get breakfast dad says that their biscuits are good so i'm getting a sausage and gravy biscuit and they're getting sausage biscuits and I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like and we'll try it. We're here in the drive-thru line. So, hopefully it's good. We're hungry, but we're like, you know what? Let's grab something, cause there might be a line. If the line looks like the first line, it's good to have something to eat. <laughs> and it was only 450 calories. So I was like, okay, that's not, it's not necessarily low cal, but that's doable for breakfast. I'm gonna show y'all. This is what he's looking like. All right, so this is what the sausage and gravy biscuit look like. This is what hubby's sausage biscuit looks like. And these are the breakfast potatoes, which I'm actually looking forward to trying. Where'd my fork go? Oh, <laughs> thank you. So, the breakfast potatoes are good. But hot, who? Mm-hmm. Normally a little bit crispier, but Ooh. still very good. I got a crispy one, so yeah. Hot. Ooh. 
And for the record, we're not feeling sick or anything, but this new it's variant like, doesn't matter. Like, I try to get tested once a month at least. And my last test was in November, so. I was getting tested four times a month. Shout out to them for giving us a actual big water cup. I'm frugal. I don't be wanting to pay $3 for no drink. All right, let's try the biscuit. It's like they had it ready. Mm -hmm. They gave us that fast, speedy service. And they remember forks, napkins. Okay. Good job, Wendy's. The biscuits are fluffy. It's good. I told you, that breakfast is a sleeper, but it's good. Okay, Wendy's. Hmm. We were all able to eat for about $2 and some change a piece. So that's right. Me, Daz, and Josiah got breakfast for $7. And it's not nasty. Josiah. Yes? How you like your biscuit? It's good. Saya's watching his new tablet. It came with Wi-Fi and everything. And thank you, Grandma Bridget. <laughs> he loves amazing. it. You did amazing with that gift. <laughs> Thanks for the breakfast recommendation, Des. You're welcome. I like Chick-fil-A, y'all, but Chick-fil-A be taxing. Although at Chick Fil A, their sausage biscuit is cheap. It's cheaper. It's much. It's much cheaper than the chicken sandwich. Yeah, this was a dollar thirty nine now. I know. It's just not bad at all. All right. McDonald's, y'all might have a runner for y'all money because their biscuits ain't dry. McDonald's got them on price, but that's about it with the sausage biscuits. And these are good. Yeah. And they're different. We got some seasoning on it. Mm -hmm. But all right, I guess I'll be back when we get to the testing facility. Yeah, we were able to register online. There is a line, but it's not as bad as the other place. So we decided to stay here. Um, they gave us these little tubes to put our uh, saliva in and then they'll do the test like that. So as you can see, it's a lot of people, but we should be able to get in and out of here much quicker and get back home. So just happy that we can go ahead and get this taken care of today. That way we can know before the holiday what's up. Hey y'all, so I am back with my package. Um, it arrived in two days. Shout out to my mother-in-law, she has Amazon Prime. Thank you to everybody that voted on my poll. I'm gonna pop it over here on the screen. I asked you guys a couple days ago, should I return it, get my money back, look for something else? Should I re exchange, return, and reorder for a smaller size? Or should I improvise and get like a little glitter belt? to send ship in, or should I pay for alterations? And so, I have not found anything yet. Um, I was looking online, I was looking to try to see, because I got a Dillard's gift card for Christmas. Dillard's is expensive, so that's out of the question. Um, I didn't have time to go out and look just yet, and New Year's is almost here. Then on top of that, cases are up. So my family, we went testing earlier, y'all saw that. When I tell you, like, this whole New Year's thing might be canceled. Like, New Year's is pretty much going to be canceled. One of my friends came down with Rona, and it's just risky to go out anyway. So, I'm just feeling really, like, not even wanting to, to do it anymore because of safety. This is my package. I wanted to open it in front of you guys. I know some of y'all wanted to see. Worst case scenario, if it doesn't fit, I will get all of my money back and I will just wait for another time to go out and celebrate. It just sucks because we about to be in 2022. Happy New Year. <laughs> and we still don't want the same stuff. So this is the dress, same dress. 
This time I have it in a 3X. Y'all can see that 3X. Last time I had a 5X. Don't come for me. I know some of y'all were like, 5X where? You not know 5X, you've lost weight. I'm like, I know, but listen, like I need to pop the size chart up on the screen so y'all can see. According to my bus, which I am a 44 or 42 triple D, and my waist is in the 40s, my hips are in the fit. My bathroom is being remodeled right now, so it's that's why it's not finished. I haven't vlogged in here in like months because it was looking worse than it looks now, but it's almost finished. So at this point, it's like, look, if you want to judge me and come to my bathroom, then do that. I don't care. But you know, my hips are about a 50, my waist is in the 40s, and so the measurements were saying that. It was like in the 30s. So I was like, well, my waist was cut off because I guess I had to delete some stuff off. Um, <clears throat> so I sized down. I went down two sizes because it was way too big. Honestly, this one still looks a little big. But it's smaller than the one I had before. So I'm going to put it on and see what it looks like. And I'll put a side-by-side -side video of me in the 5X. And y'all can let me know, should I keep it in this 3X or return it? Now, mind you, Amazon was like, we recommend that you get a size extra large or 2X. But I got a 3X because, again, the size chart, the more you size down, the shorter it gets. I don't want it shorter. I just want it to fit tighter. So what I might do is keep the smaller size and then take it to go get taken in to my liking so I can get the length I want on the arms and get the length that I want in the middle that's also going to be flattering for my shape. Get in frame some. Put the back this up a little bit. So this is what it's looking like from the front and then from the back. It's, it's, it's doing what it was doing for the model for me. Like y'all see how short it is now though but it's the right size. Oh, uh, I don't know. It looks much better in a 2X. I mean, in the 3X. I'm happy that I didn't do a, a um, 2X because it would have been way too small, but I don't even feel like I need alterations. It's giving. Uh, it's giving. Let me see if I can get my husband to hold it. So the dress is a hit bay, but the problem is <laughs> the length, but it looks good. Uh, I mean, I feel like that's a, a good length for you. Like from the back? It's about as good as it, yeah, that's, I feel like that's as good as you're probably going to get with that dress. It's nice. Can you hold it for a second? So they can see. Don't, don't mind our messiness. We in here. Dezis was in here helping clean, and the package came, and I was like, "Babe, can I take a break and do the clip?" So this is what it looked like from the front. I love the way it looked now. It don't look like a t-shirt. It was looking like a t-shirt earlier, and then the back is doing what it was doing for the model with the Russian right here. So. What y'all think? Y'all comment down below. Let me know should I keep the dress or return it. But I think I'm gonna keep it. I still want to know what y'all think. But I'm much happier with this one than. The other one, because the other one, y'all, I seen it, I was like, no ma'am, <laughs> this looks like a big t-shirt. This is cute, like, I could even save this for my birthday, honestly. Um, it, it, I like it, it's cute. My booty look good in it, y'all, I'm like, I'm jealous, I'm like, okay. That, that weight loss is paying off, y'all, it's paying off. Okay, well, I'm gonna get out of this dress. Comment down below and let me know if you think I should keep it. And I'll keep you guys posted on New Year's Eve plans because right now I'm waiting on Rona results to get back. And if we do do something, we may not even be going out like we were supposed to because of Rona. So, yeah. Subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. I'm here at Kohl's now that I know that my dress fits. About to return it. Get my money back for that big dress that didn't fit and didn't look right. <laughs>